Welcome to Visual C++ conversion system. In this conversion system, we'll be converting binary, decimal, hexadecimal, alter. So, all you just need to do is maybe enter the number you intend to convert there, and that is it. You can clear and enter another value right there. Give it a try again. Let's see. All right, that's it. You can see see the binary conversion of 169. The decimal remains a decimal, and the extra decimal is a nine. Why the octa is on 251. So, what I'll do now is take you guys straight into Visual C++, and uh, we can just put one of these together. So let's go into Visual C++ now. Oh, it is Visual C++, binary, hexadecimal, decimal and octal converter system. So I'll start by clicking on new project, select Visual C++ and make sure the form is selected, it's not here, so let's get it installed. Alright, let's get the form in place, I think we might, yep, there we go. That's a form there, so let's give it a name. So I'm going to call that VCC underscore binary underscore converter. There. So I'm going to save this straight onto my. Maybe let's go for my desktop right there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay folder selected click on OK okay now the system is ready let's click on the resource explorer and select maybe the edit the elder file double click on the form there we go so I'm going to go to the property of the form and just let's set the size of the form to approximately let's click on that alphabet order and just set it to 1368 by let's go for 600 and let's say 650 there so the next thing i will need is to go straight to the toolbox and select as follows i need three of those buttons so just hold control and drag and i also need one text box right there and I'm gonna need 12 actually 12 labels so we have one so that's the label there all I just need to do is to copy it across that's four I have another four that's eight and there we can just delete one so i have 12 in place so one would be my header heading right there um this one right here and let's get them in place move this away from here so maybe i just speed up the design of the whole interface and just get back to you guys i think that will save us some time all right, let's just speed that up. With all of these, I'm gonna to have to change them, come to the property right there, and auto size, set that force border style, make that 3D, and fix 3D. Delete all of the component right in there. There, that gone. So I'm just gonna speed up the whole process. I only need four of these really. So get rid of these, okay. This is how the interface is looking right now. So I'm gonna start with the easiest, easy one. So double click on the exit. So right there, let's just enter application, application.exit, dot exit, right. Oh, now it's not dot exit. Yeah, that's the right. Okay, it's supposed to be uppercase. Okay, that's fine. That's uppercase. So maybe I should increase the yeah, increase the font size here. 
so that you guys can see it properly okay bring that to maybe about 14 okay that's cool so that is it the next thing is let's take care of the reset button right here i have the names of every component that's txt converter and this one is lbl binary and so on so double click on the resets or clear right there it just let's just go for txt converter and that will be clear so let's clear that okay equals clear now lbl lbl yep i'm just gonna copy this instead of repeating myself paste and the next one is lbl binary decimal okay that's fine lbl hexadecimal paste and lbl alter and paste that there that is the clear taken care of so have a good look at the codes all right now let's come in here for the converter so double click on that so right in here I will enter an if statement in case the user enter or do not enter anything in there. So let's say txt converter right there. Okay, if is empty, I think that should be okay. See if it was that, then I want the system right here i think this is meant to be okay to compare that's fine i like the system to display the following message message box message box column column show there the following okay you you must enter a number okay that is that so let's put a comma here so that i can enter another argument there so the other argument to be binary converter so that's fine now let's enter a message there message buttons so my message button in this case let me go for okay there now yeah that's fine comma i also need a message icon let's go for message icon message box icon when the icon in this case i'm going to be using information icon that is fine so i guess you guys can see that all right so the next thing we want to do now i think we need to put a comma there right the next thing we would need to do is let's enter txt let's make that focus yeah set the focus that's fine and enter that so else if everything is right else let's declare an integer here int number converter equals int let's say pause yeah okay and enter in there my converter converter text box maybe text box over there right let's enter semicolon here okay okay the next thing now since i have my variable in place let's get i'm just going to copy all of these 
I need those for my overall conversion. So let's go for system right here for the binary. Let's say system column column. Convert column column to string. Let's look for string there, somewhere there, down there. Let's paste. And what are we converting? We actually converting the this variable here, the content inside this variable. Paste that here. The comma two that is. For the base two taken care of. Let me just copy this, copy all of this, and paste that in here for hexadecimal, and this one for octa. The octa is eight, and the hexadecimal that will be sixteen. Now, let's take care of that of the binary. In the case of the binary, we paste that in there. We just get rid of this. Yeah. That's it. I think that that would be that's the end of this program, really. Okay, now let's save it, build, and just try it out. Okay, the build is successful, so let's run the program now. And right there, so let's enter maybe 170 and click on this right there, guys. You see that? That's beautiful. Okay, let's clear. The clear works. Maybe we we'll go for 185. There, that's fine. So let's clear again. Exit the system. And let me just show you guys the codes again. These are the lines of code for exit. That is the code for exit. For clear, those are the lines of code for clear. And for the conversion, I have the lines of code right here. Let me move it this way so that you can see it all. There. Or maybe just, just put it, put this one on a separate line. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's build it again. That's successful as well, that's fine. So this is the, these are the lines of code for the conversion. So you can see everything now. Okay, I'll take it back up again. Clear. Exit. And those are the lines of codes. So if I run it now, click on that. Just try that again. Maybe 145. There. So that is the binary for 145. The decimal was not changed. The hexadecimal is 91. And the octal is 121. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. So do please subscribe and thumbs up. We all have a nice day now.